welcome back to another video you guessed it today is another grocery haul so i did go to target and walmart i got a little groceries and then some non-food items so i didn't do too big shopping i just needed to get some odds and ends and i am planning to cook on the grill today the day that i actually filmed this so a lot of the like meat food is specifically for the grill and then i did just grab some other items that we needed so if you guys are interested in seeing what i shopped for this week make sure you watch this video all the way through if you are tuning in for the first time thank you so much for clicking on today's video i hope this video inspires you or gives you some ideas in some type of way and if you do enjoy it please make sure you subscribe and join the tribe so we're gonna dive right into the video and share everything that i got so we're gonna start off with some of the bread that i got so since we are cooking on the grill i did grab some hot dog buns and then also some white buns. I don't know if it's just me, but these look a little off. Like they don't look right. They almost look like they're borderline about to mold, like start growing mold on them. Khalif kind of said that too. I'm a little, little nervous on these hamburger buns. We might be just using regular bread because it just looks really goofy to me. I'm not used to hamburger buns being that light. They just, yeah, they don't look all that. Let me know maybe if I'm just seeing things. It might be a little bit harder to pick up on camera, but do these look a little funny to you guys? Like, look at the difference. Here's the hot dog buns. And then here's the hamburger buns. Yeah, they look weird. Um, and then I also did get some mini sub buns. I wanted the bigger size, kind of like the hoagie size, because I'm going to be making Italian beefs this week. But this is all they have was the mini ones, which that's fine, because it's just mostly me and Khalif that eats those. And then I did grab another loaf of bread. The kids are going through bread like crazy. They're loving peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, so... Normally, we never used to eat bread. If you are an OG and used to watch some of my beginning videos, I never really bought bread like that. But lately, especially since this whole pandemic thing, I've been buying bread like crazy. Then I grabbed some hot dogs. This is just to go on the grill. Some cheese and some summer sausage. Uh, who else loves summer sausage? So I'm going to slice some of this up with some of this cheese and I have some crackers and this is going to be like a little pre-snack while we're cooking on the grill. Me and the kids will enjoy that. Then I grabbed some ribs. I made these on the grill about a week or so ago. These specifically, the Smithfield Extra Tender, these hands down are like the best tender ribs I've ever eaten. This one is a baby back one. The last one we had was huge. It was like a full size rack. But I just got the baby back just since it's just me and Khalif that's eating those. Then I did grab some steaks. I wish I would have maybe went somewhere else, but this is pretty much all Walmart had to work with. So I wanted to do a special treat and throw some steaks on the grill too. And then some of the Italian beef. I love this kind. It's kind of frozen, so I'm trying to open it for you guys. Um... Maybe different Walmarts are different. Like, I live in Illinois, so most of, like, stuff like this comes from, like, Chicago. So if you guys go to your Walmart, depending on where you live, you might have different options, different varieties. But we're in Illinois, so mostly any type of these type of foods are going to usually be from, like, Chicago places. But this is a really good brand. There's another one I can't think of off the top of my head. But I love these. And this, it's a little expensive. They're $20 for this large one, and then a smaller one's like $10, but it's totally worth it. We don't eat them all the time, so that'll be a meal for one night this week. I'm really excited, you guys. Last haul, you noticed I didn't have any good produce. Really excited. It's like they got the memo, and the produce was with it this time, so I was able to grab pretty much all the produce that we eat. So some more apples to stock up on. I did get me a little small thing of carrots. I'll just be slicing these up for work with some ranch. The kids love their little mandarins, so I got some more of those. I was really excited to get some really good grapes. I love grapes and bananas and then my green leaf lettuce. You guys know I love my green leaf lettuce, especially I'm trying to start eating a little bit better. So I love these in place of like bread or like tortillas and stuff like that. Then I grabbed some country style baked beans. This is going to be for a meal with our cooking out tonight. I like to put these with ground beef to make my special beans. And I grabbed the kids a big old thing of strawberry syrup. They're obsessed with this stuff. From Target, I got another case of diapers. We just use the Up and Up brand. I really like their overnight diapers. So if you are like on a good hunt for like some off-brand diapers, I really love Target's Up and Up, but I prefer their overnight. But the only difference is the overnight, you can't get such a big box. So I just usually switch. If I have the extra money, I'll switch and do like two cases of the overnight instead of one case of these. 
If you guys have not had this popcorn, you guys need to run to the store and get it while you can. I don't know if it's going to be limited. I've never seen it in the stores, and I think I've seen it once before, but it's like a seasonal type of thing. It only comes so often. This Cheetos cheddar popcorn is literally life. Eating healthy goes right out the window when I eat this stuff. I had to get two bags because we literally love it that much. Like, we can eat a whole bag in, like, one sitting. So freaking good. If you guys have not had it, they also have the flaming Hot ones, which Khalif really likes. You need to go snag it up while you can. Then I just got some cheddar cheese dip from the deli. I got me some macaroni salad. And then other chips I got was just the cheddar cream, cheddar, <laughs> cheddar and sour cream Lay's chips and then a thing of nacho cheese chips can't talk oh I didn't mention my watermelon I just bought it like this this is cool in a little bag there perfect size it won't go bad we'll have that for like dessert tonight after we cook out and then of course the kids yogurts they go through these things like nobody's business some round crackers that go with their summer sausage Target finally freaking had these in stock. Walmart's been out of stock of them, but Target had a whole bunch on deck. So I grabbed me another one of these so I can fill, refill my Clorox one because I think I have like two left. And then a gallon of milk for the kids and another thing of my iced coffee. I'm almost out. Some of the non-food items that I snagged up. So from Walmart, I got me this selection of makeup. This was $4, so this is a multi-stick listening peach. It's kind of, you can use it as blush on your eyes. Um, I think it says your lips, too. Lips, eyes, lips, and cheeks. Really color, really pretty color. I love pinks. It's not focusing. And then um, by the NYX or NYX, however you want to say it, this is just some um, eyeshadow. It was $3.50. I have no eyeshadow, you guys. My kids have destroyed it, so I thought I would pick that up. Then, of course... I grabbed some more of my lashes. These are my favorites. They had some lip gloss for $3.50. Really pretty color. I love pinks and reds. Like, that's all you'll catch on my lips. <laughs> and then I needed to get another eyebrow brush because Samir got a hold of mine and snatched this part from the stick. And then I grabbed some setting spray, some... So this is by NYX, bear with me, Prime Set and Refresh. I've never used this one. Try to get a little bit better view. My camera does not want to focus on it. There we go. So I'm gonna give that a try and see how this works. It says it has an eight hour, eight hour hydration. So we'll see. And this was from Walmart. I just grabbed Samir, three pairs of shorts because I realized all of the shorts I had that I thought was from Tanks, they were all mostly 40, so. I had to grab him a couple pairs of shorts. These were $3.88 at Walmart. I just got him a gray pair, some jeans, and a black pair. Now from Target, I snagged up these super cute little cups for Lakin and Ellie. How freaking cute are these? These were $2.99 and they come with a little straw in it. So I got Ellie the pink one and then Lakin the blue one. And then I also seen that they had these reusable straws for kids. So the kids have a lot of cups around here and I'm always buying plastic straws that I have to throw away. So I saw these and they were only $2.99. I figured I would get these. The colors are really pretty too. They're like a pretty pastel color. So I like that. Look at these sandals slash little heels. These are so cute. They were $24.99. These are so freaking cute. I love the browns. I figured I can wear these for work or with outfits outside of work. They're like super in between casual and yet classy. You can either dress up or keep it simple really cute shoes summer sandals i love these and i like they got the little wedge there super cute i saw those at target and i just had to get them i'm obsessed with this scent right now you can get this from walmart so i grabbed the candle it's the lemon basil oh, you guys it smells so freaking good and then i got one of the wax melts of it i love this stuff this is a limited edition i feel like i need to go like just buy all of them because once it's gone i'm gonna be so disappointed when i can't find it anymore then I grabbed a big refill of my dish soap. I get this at Target, it's $4.99 and I just fill up my dish jar as you've seen in my cleaning videos. So they've been on stock for this for a while. This was literally the last one that was on the shelf. So I snagged that up real quick. I got these at Walmart, they were $4.75. As you can tell, the kids got into it. Look over here. 
tank. <laughs> I literally left the room, came back, and they were already digging into it. So I seen these on clearance for $4.75. They're originally, what, $5.78. The kids love peanut butter crackers, so I grabbed that. And then, I don't know why, let me flip it. Why have I not been buying the big case of this? I just realized this. Normally I'm buying the individual, so it's like one, two, three, four, five of these for $7.88. And I'm always buying like two at a time. I figured for $7.88, I might as well buy this whole big case. This will last the kids probably for the next two weeks. And that is everything, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and you enjoyed seeing what I got at Target in Walmart this week. I originally was going to film a little bit more, kind of like the style that I did in my last video, but it was so packed, you guys. I'm not really 100% comfortable filming out in public and then especially on busy days when there's so many people in every aisle will turn. I feel like I can't really pull out my camera like that, so I didn't get to do a shot with me style this time. Hopefully the next time I film one of these, it's a little bit not as crowded in the stores and I can pull up my camera and kind of bring you guys along a little bit better to film that process of me shopping. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure you like and subscribe. Join the tribe. I would love to have you. Until next time, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and don't forget how strong and powerful you are. Bye.